Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you, teacher? How was your day? Uh, very good. Always working. <laughs> Excellent. Always making money. Ah, money. <laughs> more, more or less. A few money. Yeah. If you are working, you are making money. So it's good. It's good. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. if, if I work, if, uh, I have money. I did, uh, uh, how is correct to say a little money or a few money? Some. I have some money. Mm -hmm. I have some money. Some money. But, but I want more money. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Everyone, everyone wants more money. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, only I know if, if uh, I want to, to have more money, uh, I can, I, I, I have to, to make business. Yes. yes, it's true. You have to, you have to have your own business. Be, because if you have a good job, uh, there, uh, there is some money, but it's not the same when you are a uh, empresario. I don't know. I don't know. Empezando, starting. How do you say? Starting. Starting. Yes, starting. Someday. Someday. Someday I have a business. <laughs> yes, of course. You? you work, you try very hard, and one day is, is possible. It's only necessary to work. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No problem. Okay. How about the rest? Anna, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Um... Good. I'm good. tired, teacher. I had a very busy week. <laughs> I'm so sorry for missing the last classes. No, it's okay. Sometimes you have to work. You have other responsibilities. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's very really sorry. But I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. All right. Let's take a look who else is here. We got Miguel, Herson, Maybelline. Um, who else? Christopher. All right, guys, it's good that we have several people. So now we have the opportunity to make small groups and we're going to just take a few moments and discuss our day. What did you do today? What happened? What was the situation? That's the first thing, right? So let's take a moment, make our groups and discuss our day. Remember to ask follow-up questions. Harrison, what happened? Julio, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm great. Thank you. Great, great. In this moment, we have a little groups and we are talking about our day and what we did and asking more information questions, okay? About us. About you, yes, about today. Uh, about today. Okay. Hello, Fatima.
Good evening, Gabriela. Good evening. I sent you the link to join the groups. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hello, good evening, Ruth. Oh. Gabby, you didn't join the group. Um, okay. So I I have a question. What 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 are doing in the, in the group? Hello, Kevin. How are you? I'm sending you the link to join the group, Kevin. There you go. Sorry, Gabby. Uh, ya me perdí. <laughs> es que no te uniste al grupo. Y creo que hasta incluso ya perdiste la eh, para unirte al grupo. Oh, o ya lo tenés ahí todavía. No. Mm. No, hasta lo perdiste ya, ¿verdad? Sí, que lo estoy buscando, pero, pero no lo encuentro. Hello, Everson. I send you the link to join the group, Everson. Espérame, ya. Déjame buscarte. Te mando otro, Gaby. Ok. Ay, gracias. No problem, Gaby. Te uniste, Gaby. Ahorita, ahorita. Ha <laughs> Daniel. All right, guys, are we ready? Yes, we are. Excellent. So now we're reviewing a little bit the WH questions, the past tense, the different things. Also, yesterday we were looking at some of the questions. Remember, the idea was practicing the indirect questions also, right? That could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? These are different things or different ways to ask the questions that we have to our partners. Okay. Today we're going to continue. Let me share my screen so that we can see. We are in 3.3, 3.3, okay. Cecilia, can you please read the objective for 3.3? Okay. Practice using adjectives and nouns to express comparison in English. In this lesson, practice comparing houses and apartments to express similarities or difference. Additionally, learn how to use expression of one quantity. Quantity? quantity. Ah, like just us, you know, too much. To modify adjectives and nouns. For example, just a comfortable 
or too few closets. Good. Only the pronunciation. Just as comfortable. Comfortable. Co comfortable. 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 Yes. Comfortable. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So let me get, hang on. Let me copy a couple of these. And that's the first thing that we're going to take a look at. All right. So we have the word just as, enough, and too much. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is with your partners, we're going to discuss what do those three expressions mean? What do you understand? How do we use them? First, we're going to think about you and what you know. Okay. So it's not a long time. It's only three minutes. The idea with three minutes is to give examples, describe the meaning or what you understand for each one. Okay. okay. This is what you understand and what you know. Let's take a look. Hi, teacher. Me Hi. Saco. Ah, okay. My internet. Me too. Me too. Me too. Okay. Me too. No problem. No problem. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Anna Herson, do you have any problems? I don't know. I'm waiting to. Anna, I'm to <laughs> no, I said, my internet is so bad. Uh, I have, uh, in my phone. Yes, I hear the music. Is, you are in the car. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving to my house. Yes, I, I hear the music. Ah, nah, that, this is for the, the idea. <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> yes, yes. Don't worry. We try. Harrison, do you have problems? Mm, the platform um, return okay. no, no, with, with yours. No problem. Let's go to another room. Let's try another one. Don't worry, guys. Okay. I send you to another room. Thank you. Sure. Okay, let's take a look. We had the three words. We had the word just as, enough, 
or too much. What is the idea for just as? What did you and your partners discuss? What is just as? Con Carlos y Gerson, según lo que estábamos averiguando, es como decir es como o podría tomarse también como justo o parecido, ¿no? Sí, yes. that's, that's correct. That's correct. Good. Good job, guys. Good job, the three of you. All right. What about enough? Who, who has the idea for enough? Suficiente. Suficiente. Too much. Okay. Too much. Good. Enough is suficiente. Not enough, no suficiente. Right? That's good. What about too much? Yeah. Demasiado. 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 Okay. Ahí aparece too much y tienen razón. ¿Y qué pasa con too many? ¿Cuándo usamos too many? Uh, con countable nouns. Excellent. The same meaning. Too much, demasiados. Too many, demasiados. But in English, the difference is countable, too many, uncountable, too much. Okay. Very good, very good. Too, too, too many is countable nouns. Too, too many countable, exactly. Too many is countable. And too much? Uncountable. Uncountable, okay. So let's say I have uh, maybe uh, students. For example, in my student, my students today, I have too many students or too much students? Too many students? Many. Correct. Too many. 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 Too many. Too many. If it has S, with S, normally it's too many. Too many. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Any other words? Or uh, Sorry. It's okay for everybody? Just as enough? Too much? The, uh, teacher, yes. The, the, the sea has so much water. Correct. It's correct, right? It's correct. Okay. okay. Now, you. I want you to imagine your perfect house or your perfect <laughs> apartment. How do you imagine? How many bedrooms? How many bathrooms? The kitchen, the closet the garage mm -hmm. how do you imagine is the perfect house have jacuzzi have a swimming pool <laughs> but no it's the perfect house for the you gym. yes the view where in a uh, view in front of the lake <laughs> in front of the lake maybe in front of lake Guatepeque, yeah. the beach maybe in, in the, the palma chaletenango maybe in, in el cuco i don't know mm -hmm. La I wish a, I wish a little pool in my house. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe a little pool. Yes, but yeah. it's your house. <laughs> now we we are, have to ring. Yes, yes, it's possible. And now we're a mini to, gym. We are going to describe our house in this moment with our partners. We are going to describe your perfect house. Okay. My perfect house is in the mountains where it is nice and cold. There are many trees around my Yes, house. yes, many trees. I, I have a swimming pool and I have a sauna. Ah, para que vean. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, the idea with you and your partners, the same, okay? Describe the different, your perfect house. No se preocupen de la gramática. Preocúpense de describir las cosas correctamente. La gramática va a venir naturalmente. Solo preocúpense de describirlo de correctamente. ¿Ok? Any vocabulary? Anything? Al, alguien que, hey, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? No sé, el jacuzzi, no sé, el jacuzzi, lo que sea. Gimnasio, ¿no? Eh, ah, eh, mi. Teacher, uh, we can use uh, the word, for example, the hill, the hills instead the mountains. They're different. It's correct. You can use the hills, but it's different than the mountain. Okay. The hills, the What's hills the are difference? small. The hills are small. Small. And the yes. mountains are big. Exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other vocabulary? Should, yes. How do you say patio? Patio. Yeah. It's in English. Only if we put the pronunciation. Patio. 
Okay. Thank you. What is the difference with yard? Yard is the grass. Ah, the okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you repeat, teacher? What is the difference? The grass, the plants, the yard. Hmm. The barbecue, the area to cook, to sit and drink. This is the patio. Mm -hmm. And you right. My perfect house. Okay. Sorry, Ceci, did you have a question? No. No. no? Okay. No, thank you. Everyone has the perfect house. Do you have your imagination? Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. A Carla, a Carla, I see the face. Oh, the closet is big. <laughs> I walk in inside the closet. Have two with more. many clothes <laughs> and many shoes and many high heels. I feel so Yes. So Carla's, I imagine Carla's closet is just as Kim Kardashian's closet. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you speak it's natural for example oh i want to have enough shoes to for different activities or i don't want to have i want to have too many or too much don't worry the grammar worry describe your perfect house house apartment that different okay okay teacher all right let's go with our partners teacher yes Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, no. <laughs> no problem. Maria Marta, Herson, are you guys okay?
Okay, Ceci, tell me the perfect house. Hi, teacher. Hello, I think Ceci, Ceci, you okay? Okay. It's okay, Ceci. You have some problems? No, no problem. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, okay. yeah, it's okay. It's okay, Ceci? Well, <laughs> uh, I would like to live in a big house in the mountain that has a beautiful view and many trees around and a big kitchen we two left four rooms okay all right well that's good and four we beds. all we have water very nice Ceci. okay sounds like a nice place good Good. Were there any words that you didn't know or any words you're not sure for the pronunciation? Um, I think I, I, I pronunciation right, but yes, yes, tell yes. Me. no, no, the uh, words okay. that you said, yes. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. For, and anybody else? Anybody else have any questions? Teacher. Yes, Maybelline. Yo, yo quería preguntar cómo se dice cuando como cuando alguien tiene como un cine en casa, pero no sé cómo se, no sé cómo como un cuarto para ver películas. Yes, it's a movie. My room. Home movie theater. Yes, a, a home theater or, or a movie uh, a movie theater in your home or in 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 the house. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, y alquilando teacher, so you yeah, rent apartment or rent. Correct, rent. Oh, rent is alquilar, right. exactly. Any other words? Okay, good. So we can see we have a lot of ideas for your perfect home, right? Uh, we have what we want to say, how we have. In this moment, we're going to see if we understand how to describe. So look here, number one, we have three sentences. This is from 3.5, 3.5. Which sentence is correct? Which sentence is correct? Number one, the third. Number one. Number two. Number two. The last number, number three. three. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh -huh. The first option. Sure. Yes. No. Sure. No. Third. The third. No. One, two, three. No. No, which is correct. Yes. Yes. Number four. Number three. In my opinion. Number three. The third. Number three. Number three. Number three. Okay, let's try number three. We're going to check number three. Okay, I hear a lot of different yes, opinions. Yes, what about number three? Number three. Two. Number three. Number three. Number three. Yes. Yes. Okay, what about number three? The first. The first one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And here, mm -hmm. my new house doesn't have as much. As much. Okay. There you go. Good. As much is correct. So we have as much because it's non count. Remember, space is non count. We don't say as many. Number three is correct. Sorry, number uh, number three is correct for the first one. Number two is the last one. And number one, look. Correct. Sentence number three. Okay. Any questions? 
No. Teacher, ya va a llegar a donde tengo yo una cuestión con la, con la plataforma. Hasta aquí quedamos hoy, entonces. Ah, vamos. Ah. <risa> <risa> pues todo, yo también viendo la hora. <risa> no problem, no problem. Ok. So the quest first, it's okay. Just enough, too much, too many. Mister, when you use just as is when when it's a equal. No. Correct, Yancy. It's equal. Okay. 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 And not just as is not equal. Oh, not yes. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay, then let's go to the next part where we have I wish. Ah, today we look at here oh, in this part, the wish. First, let's have uh, who's going to read? Fatima, okay, Fatima, please read. Expressing wishes and desires is a big part of communicating with friends. Learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life, career, or health. This lesson from English teacher uh, Joe Sainz explains how to use the verb to wish in the present tense and combine it with a past tense verb to express wishes. For example, I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job or I wish I were thinner, thinner this and, lesson, mm -hmm. thinner. Mm -hmm. This lesson include an oral language com I know, I, Compre I, relax, relax. Comprehension. 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 Comprehension exercise. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> so, very good. Here we have I wish. ¿Qué significa eso? ¿Qué es I wish? Ojalá. Desea. Desear. Yo deseo. Desearía. Eh, deseo, desearía. De, because Ojalá. Uh -huh. Ojalá. I like that one. Ojalá. Uh -huh. That's it. This is I wish. Pero en inglés siempre que usamos I wish es una forma bien fácil de acordarnos. El verbo va en pasado. I wish y el verbo va en el pasado. Ok, no, no importa que estamos hablando de ahorita o del futuro, vamos a usar I wish y el verbo en pasado. Ok, this is for our imagination. This is for the imagination. So, if you look at the examples, you are going to see I wish in the verb in past, I didn't in negative. I wish the verb in past in positive, I had. I wish the verb in past, I were, okay? It's not normal to use I was, he was, she was. It's not normal. The normal is he were, they were, we were, she were, all for the wish were. If, if you use was, it's incorrect. No. Uh -huh. Grammatically, it's incorrect. Okay. Grammatically, it's incorrect, okay? Don't say, I wish you were. Correct. I wish you were. I wish she were. I wish he were. This is the correct with I wish. It's okay. Let's watch. A yes. A, yes. 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 Okay. Uh, can you explain the I wish? I don't understand. The, no, the no, grammar I, or the yeah, meaning? I, the grammar. Okay, no problem. So for the grammar, I share the screen because it's in the explanation. In the grammar, here is the subject, I, you, he, okay? The subject, wish, only I wish. This is the expression to begin the sentence. Then you have what you want to change, what you want different. Ah, then you put, the sentence, I didn't, and then the verb, or I, the verb in the past, and the complement. So, as an idea, to have the idea is easy. 
put I wish in the sentence in past. I wish in the sentence in past. I wish I, okay? I wish I had more money. That's the idea. Only put I wish and your sentence is in the past. Except when, when says- this. Hello, everyone. Except when says? When say didn't. The verb was in present. Yes, but didn't is past. Remember, didn't mm -hmm. is past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, for example, always I wish and the sentence in past. This is the grammar. But the meaning not is in past. The meaning is for the future or now. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the meaning. I wish and then the subject. Life. He, she. Teacher, what? like, uh, I wish, um, I wish had a new ha house. Good, good. I wish I had, I had, had a new house. A new house. Or I wish my mother had a new house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish I drank Pepsi. Podrá. Porque dice que el verbo al pasado, I drank, sería. I drank Pepsi. Yes, I, I wish Pepsi. I drank Pepsi. So, okay. ¿Qué, ¿Qué estás diciendo, Daniel? No, no sé. Es no, 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 no. En, cuando vos decís, pues sí, I wish I, I... Could, ¿sí? ¿Qué, ¿qué crees que estás diciendo? No te preocupes. Gramática, no, no, no. la oración está correcta. Está correcta. ¿Qué es que estaba analizando los, los ejemplos. Póngame de nuevo ah, la ventanilla de los ejemplos, por favor. No, yo no, ya es tú. No. <risa> <risa> Qué malo. ¿eh? Ajá. A ver. <risa> okay. Estaba analizando el mercado para pedir gusto, en, le va a decir. No, no, a ver, no. En mi mente, pero con la voz alta. Es <risa> <risa> ok, Daniel, es ok, no problem. Solo es que excelente porque es importante que todos entendamos lo mismo. I wish is yo desearía. Uh -huh. Y yo no, no vamos a decir el verbo en presente, ¿verdad? No vamos a decir, yo desearía com, como, eh, como pupusas. Uh -huh. Sería, uh -huh. I wish I eat, ate pupusas. Eight. Exactly, I wish I uh -huh. ate pupusas. I wish I, I had a girlfriend. I wish I lived in the United States. I wish I, whatever verb you want, but that's... That is going to be in the past. I, wish, I bought. I bought. Okay, so whatever. You can make a wish about anything, about your house, about your school, about your job, about your appearance, your family, your possession, your skills. So, for example, I'm going to put in the chat simple. I wish I, for example, I wish I spoke English. We, because we can use different verbs. Only I wish not change. The, so I wish we don't change. The others. So, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. so I wish it means desearía. Correct. And you can change. I wish she had a better house. Desearía que ella tuviese una mejor casa. When, when are we going to use which uh, the verb in the sentence will be in past? Always. Right, we are going to use it in past. And you see, they're all the verbs in past. Eh, yo, teacher, perdón, aunque se escriba así, el, la idea es que aunque el verbo vaya en pasado, no quiere decir, por ejemplo, en el primer ejercicio va a decir, eh, yo desearía haber hablado inglés, por ejemplo, no, no, no sino que es, yo desearía hablar inglés. Correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Mister, is correct. I wish my mother lived in my house. Correct. This is correct. It's okay. No. Yes. Ok, ahora que estamos pensando y deseando y hablando de nuestro casa de sueño y dónde sería, ahí es donde usamos I wish, porque de nada sirve tener un gran closet, ¿verdad Carla? Si no tenemos ropa, 
Yeah, tener un montón de dinero. It's very important. No <laughs> And I wish I, I wish had I many. Had more clothes. <laughs> Correct. Money. I wish I had more clothes. I wish I had a lot of money. I wish I had five cars. I wish I had three houses in the beach, in the mountain, in the sea. In the lake. In the lake. Okay. In Paris. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is the difference between I wish with I would like? Uh, I wish mm. is in you imagine I would like is now. Vas a un restaurante, no vas a decir yo deseo, vas a decir yo quiero, I would like. O me gustaría, porque es una forma amable. I would like a soda. Okay. So, so, okay. So, so, or, or okay. Es como cuando uno lamenta algo, ¿no? I wish. I wish. No, 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 porque no estamos hablando de pasado. No, es desear. It's a desire. It's a desire. Uh -huh. it's a, okay. Exactly. Jancy, yo desearía que vos fuera mi esposa. I wish Jancy were my wife. Okay. You do it, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Pero te fijas, estoy hablando del presente. No estoy hablando de algo que me arrepiento. Porque arrepiento significa que lo hice. Y I wish significa que no lo hiciste. I wish solo es tu imaginación. Ay, ya, si ya me quebraste. El good example. Yes, good example. <laughs> los están bulineando, los están bulineando ahí. Uh -huh. okay. ok. Ahora que entendemos la estructura, vamos a hablar de nuestros deseos. Pero no solo de casa. Si nos fijamos, el de casa era el primer tema que estaba en la lista. My bedroom, my house, my thing. And we can talk more. We can talk about your appearance, your family your possession, your skills, your job, okay? For example, I wish, for me, I wish I worked in el puerto o el tunco. Ha. Finish the class, eh, pero no. I hear in my house, eh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no trabajara, teacher, si estuviera en el tunco. <laughs> cabal, cabal. <laughs> tiene una hora. De party and party. <laughs> Party, party. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Está bien cómo se estructura nuestra no, no, oración. Tengo, yes. Tengo, yes, tengo una pregunta. Bueno, entonces para hablar en pasado de, de que desea algo, no se le agregue la idea al wish. No, eso estás hablando de el, el presente. Ah. O sea que cuando yo digo I wish we live With my mom. In the present. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Good mm -hmm. question, Everson. Good question. Remember, the verb is in the past. For example, the example Daniel in the chat, I wish I was in Japan. Mm. The verb is in the past, but the idea is now. Right. And re remember, Daniel. No, 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 Daniel, it's not correct, but it's the idea. Remember, Daniel. For we do not use was with I wish, only were. I wish I were in Japan. Ah, ok, ok, eso no me quedaba claro. O sea, aquí sí ya no, no tiene que estar el was en ninguno de los oh, verbos que correspondía a ese was. Solo es were, only were. Correct, okay. only were, only were. Correct, Christopher, that's correct. Ok. Ahora vamos a hablar en nuestros grupos de todas las cosas que hablamos. The bedroom, the house. El... Algunos de ustedes han deseado hasta en la refri. Yo, por ejemplo, yo he visto esa refri que sale de, en la tele, la de Samsung, que la tocas y enciende la luz y que tiene la cámara y que se abre. Y que y I wish I had this beautiful refrigerator. Ya con uno viejito no piensa en esta cosa, ¿verdad? Ya, ya no es que, ay, ya, ya, no, solo con esa refri me conformo. Bye, bye. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now with our partners, remember, I wish, acuérdense, si se equivoca el compañero, acuérdenle, I wish y la oración en pasado, no significa el pasado, pero la oración en pasado, okay? Okay. 
Okay. Let's talk about the different topics that you wish. Person, you okay? No, no, no. Teacher, I had some troubles with the internet and I what I was brought up. What happened? I was with Cecilia. Okay. And my computer, my computer got up. Okay, hang on, let me check. And now she's talking by himself. Room three, okay. There. Thank you. You're welcome, Luz.
Okay. Julio, what do you wish? Hi, Hi teacher. Uh, in my personal opinion, I wish I have uh, some ticket to concert of uh, Baguni. <laughs> Julio, tenés que hablar con Carla. Carla tiene boletos. Bueno, tiene acceso oh. a los boletos. Wow. Carla trabaja en el call center. Ahí, decime quién no va a ir ahí de ellos. <risa> no, teacher. Really. Mira, con oh, gran sonrisa. Mm. Ya no había, ya no había tickets. <laughs> ya no había. Nada. Mm. I am going to give you my card if you give me one bullet. You see? <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. wow. Yeah. Es de Hot Wheels, pero, pero da igual. Pero ya, pero, 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 pero. Bien barato le va a salir el boleto. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, we are going to pause right there. Como ven, I wish is, en realidad es más fácil ya cuando entendas la regla gramatical para poder usarlo. Hay muchas veces que a veces nos complicamos. Y, es que como aquí, ¿por qué? No, no, no. Es más fácil simplemente estar hablando. Ok. So. Have a good weekend. Mañana no hay clases, solo fue el yeah. mes pasado. Okay. All right. Sorry, teacher. All right. Have a good weekend. I see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.